Well, Planned Parenthood says a court ruling that clarified when women are sick enough to receive an abortion in Tennessee does not go far enough. They are using Tennessee's abortion ban to drive people to the polls. State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner explains. The calls for clarity on Tennessee's near ban on abortions answered by a three-judge panel late last week. Their ruling names the specific medical conditions that qualify for a medical exception to the abortion ban, the only exception allowed under Tennessee law. It also temporarily blocks discipline for doctors. I'm sure that there is um, a great deal of relief. But Tennessee advocates for Planned Parenthood say the ruling doesn't cover every medical issue that puts the life of the mother at risk during pregnancy. We had a patient who was in heart failure who needed an abortion. Her pregnancy was fine, but the pregnancy would have killed her. We had patients who were receiving chemotherapy for cancer. The pregnancies were fine. But the chemotherapy would have damaged the fetus and they wanted to continue with the chemotherapy so that they could live and be there for their families and their other children. Those kinds of medical emergencies are not named uh, in the lawsuit. Planned Parenthood hopes the issue is enough fuel to flip some Republican seats blue this election. They've spent close to $1 million in phone banks, canvassing, and paid communications, also targeting the Republican supermajority, making the laws the group says don't align with what the majority of Tennesseans want. According to a nonpartisan poll by Vanderbilt University, 75% of Tennesseans who participated support abortion exceptions, including for rape and incest, which state law doesn't allow. Last year, some members of the legislative leadership told us they don't think that should change. I think the current law is adequate and, and uh, it protects the life of the mother. And uh, I think that's the, you know, the big thing that we wanted, wanted to do. And I'd be satisfied leaving the current law where it is. I fully support the law that we have on the books right now relative to, to abortion. Um, I believe life begins at conception and, uh, and should be protected. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. And we've reached out to all the Republican lawmakers whose seats Planned Parenthood are trying to flip. Representative Elaine Davis of Knoxville provided the following statement in response. Human life is sacred at every stage, and we are unwavering in our commitment to protect the defenseless while ensuring women facing medical emergencies have access to the care they need. Planned Parenthood's tactics shamelessly seek to dehumanize children and disrespect women. Tennessee Republicans will continue to resist dangerous extremism that glorifies ending the lives of innocent human beings and advocates for advocates for lawfully sanctioned infanticide that denies care to newborns who survive abortions.